where do I begin? Am I moving away from New York? Am I leaving the city? Am I leaving the States? Am I leaving this apartment? Do I still have a job? Am I still a photographer? Well, how old am I? So many things happened this summer. Wait, what? You get attacked by a dog? Yeah, I know. Do you have a social life? Do you still have friends? Where are your friends in New York? You're always alone. What's going on? Are you moving? Yeah, I already said that. Oh, what's going on? Are you taking what? Mm -hmm. Follow along. I'm going to tell you what's happening in this video. Hello everyone, it's been a while and I thought I would come back today and do a new video to, you know, catch up a little bit on life updates. It's been two months uh, almost since my last video, I think, which was at the beginning of the summer. So many things happened since then, good or bad, but they happened anyway because, you know, that's life. And instead of like just writing it down and going on Instagram, uh, I thought what better way than just catching up with this video and uh, let you know where I'm at. So, uh, where do I begin? Because I have a long list. No, I'm not kidding. Like, I do have a very long list. Uh, I guess let's just start with the beginning of July, which is where I actually got tested for COVID. Uh, this is something that I wanted to do because um, especially I wanted to know if I had COVID and that was before we knew that the antibody that you get when you get COVID can just disappear from your body within three months. So, you know, they're still like up and down. They have no idea what that disease is. In New York, you can get tested for free and you can also get the antibody test for free. So I wanted to do both. I just rode my bike all the way up uh, to Harlem and got tested. I actually recorded a little bit about that day. So here's the clip. Just to be clear, I don't think I have COVID right now. I mean, I've been isolating for a long time and I haven't like touched a human being in the last almost four months. So I don't think I do have it, but I would be interested to know if I did have it and I didn't get, you know, the symptoms or I was not as sick as I should be, especially because at the beginning of the year, I came back from Europe and I felt sick for like weeks on with like a fever on and off and like so I don't know if it was just like kind of a flu or if it was that and of course fashion week happens where I spent a lot of my time with you know people from Italy and people from China and France I don't know I feel like I've been exposed and uh, you know I've been exposed before we knew all the precautions to take so I want to know if I had it or not and uh, you know the test is free and everybody's encouraged to take it so why not do it today and uh, let's go together so I just arrived 10 minute bike ride and uh, yeah I'm in front of a clinic right now so it's right behind me it doesn't look like it's too crowded uh, it also looks like it's going to be outside. There's a tent outside. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to film in there, but I'll try maybe to sneak in some footage. And uh, yeah, I guess this is it. Never thought I'll do that one day, but let's get tested. So I just got home. Uh, I rushed out of the hospital because uh, the storm was coming in and I was on a bike. So I just biked as fast as I could and I got in right in time. I got there. There were only four people in front of me, so I thought it would be uh, quick and easy. It was not, uh, I mean, yeah, it was, but it was not. So I waited like 45 minutes to get tested. I requested both the COVID test and the antibody test. And they didn't tell me until I was in front of a person that uh, unfortunately they were not doing antibody testing today. And I was kind of upset because, you know, that was my whole purpose. I wanted to know if I had it before or not. The guy asked me to sit down and uh, remove my mask. And that was, you know, really easy. Uh, I got the nose swab. So yeah, so you put that little thing like inside your nose and it's so not comfortable. It's such a weird feeling. Thankfully, it's only like 15 or 20 seconds. But yeah, you feel it like going deep and you're like, you wonder if it's gonna go touch your brain or go straight into your stomach because it feels very long. Um, but it's not painful. It's just very uncomfortable and it's, yeah give me my papers back and they told me that I would get the test result uh, within two days either online or they're gonna call me and that is all I have I did not film uh, the aftermath of this I did not film the result 
Uh, so the um, COVID test came back within 24 hours, which I was super surprised. And I received an email and uh, it was negative. So it means that I was not having, you know, any symptoms. I didn't have COVID at the time, which I had no, you know, surprise about it. I was really interested in that antibody test. I never got it. And now apparently, even if you had it three months after, the antibodies can leave your body and uh, you can catch it again. So I guess I will never know. And maybe it's for the best. <laughs> I got attacked by a dog, um, Iris and I did. So we were walking uh, the beginning of July, Saturday the morning, beautiful summer morning outside. I was walking Harrison with a friend and his dog. They were both on the leash. That story still makes me feel very uncomfortable. Uh, but if you've been following me on Instagram, uh, you know I talked a lot about it. I shared the pictures of the dog and uh, what happened is we were walking and suddenly I started seeing Harrison panicking and crying. And I look up and I see this huge dog charging at us with his face still comes to my mind and I am petrified at it. Um, anyhow, so I saw this dog and I told my friend, that's the dog, because that was not the first time that dog came at us. Definitely was the worst. Um, everything happened in such a short amount of time and I was kind of like in panic mode. Uh, so I tried to protect Harrison and that dog tried to get through him But in order to do that he had to bit me which he did twice uh, I was in such a shock that I could not I felt the pain I felt the bite but not that much of a pain I was just worried that he would get to Harrison and it could be like the end of it I tried to reach the dog and I dropped the leash and I told Harrison to run away and of course he was petrified just as much so he was just like coming close to me <laughs> finally the owner came running you know and just grabbed the dog he's like oh what happened i'm not gonna go too much into details he bit me but and i told the do the guy that he bit me but i i couldn't see it because it was right behind and then you know we talked we didn't you know get into a uh, heat or anything like i think i was such in shock that guy was talking and i was answering but more into like a robot mod um he told me that this was not the first time and he hates australian shepherds <laughs> i went home i was still in shock and that's when i like went to take on the shower and i looked in the mirror and i saw the freaking bite and I was shook, but I didn't have that, the guy's number. I couldn't do anything. I called animal control. So if you're in New York, you'll free one one to report the bite, but I have no info about this owner other than, you know, he lives on my street. Uh, so I went to the police, filed a report. I saw this dog again, off leash. I run away before he could see us. So I can never talk to the guy because I am scared of getting bit. Anyway, long story longer, I wanted to make it short. Beginning of July, I got bit by a dog. But that threw kind of my summer off. Like, I think that was the beginning of it. We were still in the middle of like the pandemic, we're still in it, but things were still closed. They were starting to reopen the shop, but it still didn't feel safe to be outside. So it was still gloomy to be in New York for the summer. And I still didn't have jobs. My business was still closed. Uh, I did like little things here and there, like little shoots, but nothing. I started being very uh, into my head, like thinking, oh my God, how am I going to live? How am I going to buy groceries? Should I move? Should I go somewhere else? Is New York done? So yeah, I, I did a lot of like thinking and reacting, looking for jobs. And uh, that's basically what I've been doing the entire summer. On the bright side, I started seeing my friends again on a socially distanced manner. So I called it my social distant friendships. <laughs> so that's the good thing that happened this summer is that finally I got to see my friends again. Not that I have met many friends that are still in New York because everybody flew home, which is understandable. And that was probably the most, uh, you know, reasonable thing to do when you can go home. I couldn't, that never thought home was an option uh, because this is my home. And, uh, but yeah, so I started going on the bike and meeting with my friend. I went to see Lena a few times in uh, Brooklyn and uh, in Queens. We found that really nice little park to have a little picnic at dawn, just, you know, sunset overlooking the Queensboro Bridge. I also stayed with friends for a few days, a few weeks ago, which was 
amazing and I think like after five months of living alone I did not expect it to affect me the way it did like like in on a physical level it's so my I went to see my friend and then they hugged me and I didn't have a hug in like five months I did not touch a human being really or like it was like a deep thing and like my body started shaking but it was fine and then we were having a meal together like at a table I was with people inside a house and we started having a meal together and I thought it was so nice and it was so odd because for them living together they were just like having dinner and for me I was like wow I'm having dinner with human beings and they're not a screen and Netflix and YouTube videos that I'm watching because believe me, I love being by my on my own and living by myself, but eating alone, like it's kind of like boring. And then I started not having meals anymore. I was just snacking here and there. So anyhow, enjoy what you have because if you are eating with other people, take a minute to appreciate it because it's really nice. <laughs> on top of a pandemic, I had to turn a year older. So it's kind of a nightmare at the moment. Um, I am happy to report that I am an American. Now, it is moving for the best right now. I am moving. <laughs>